Today we will discuss Kafka architecture and how its components interact. A producer sends an event to the cluster. Consumers then pull this information from a topic within the cluster. Now, let's focus on the cluster itself. The cluster is run on servers called brokers. Inside each broker, topics hold the data, and each topic is split into partitions for parallel processing and scalability. Now, let's return to our high-level view and take a closer look at how consumers are organized into groups. Consumers with a common purpose form a consumer group. To read a topic in parallel, each consumer in the group is assigned exclusive partitions. This allows a single event to be independently consumed by multiple applications, making Kafka a powerful tool for scalable, real-time data pipelines.